Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Jurassic Park Podcast YouTube channel. I am Brad Jost, the host of the Jurassic Park Podcast, and today we're going to be looking at the Pro Ceratosaurus here from Mattel, one of the newest items. I believe it should be uh, considered Wave 3. Um, the waves have been all over the place recently with Wave 2 and Wave 3 kind of coming out around the same time. Um, it's all kind of a mess, but this toy looks really cool. So I think when comparing it to most of the other figures, it kind of resembles the Raptor in size and, and shape, I guess, as well. Um, it does have the ridge on the nose, so... Um, it does distinguish it as something different than the raptor, of course. And of course, inside the sickle claw does not exist, so this is very different from a raptor. But it does kind of resemble that size and shape and everything. So here's a closer look. Let's see. As usual, we have Chris Pratt as Owen and Blue, Proceratosaurus, Proceratosaurus, however you want to pronounce it, uh, Jurassic World logo, and as usual, the, the volcano in the background, which is incredible. These things are so beautiful in the package that I, I basically never want to take them out, but we're going to do that. Here on the back, you can actually see the other items from Wave 3. You have the Minmi, which we will be reviewing as well, so check our channel soon. The Proceratosaurus, which we have here, and the Protoceratops as well. So uh, I have not found the Proceratops yet, uh, Protoceratops yet. But um, that one is a coveted one for me. I really, really like the way it looks. So this dinosaur as well features the Jurassic Facts app up top. You can see it here. So just make sure when you get it to scan the foot so you can put that in and check the app and see it inside your app. Um, so as usual, there's just the standard stuff on the back. Nothing too special. The sides are fine. The bottom, nothing great there. But this thing is awesome and I'm going to take it out. Let's do it. Whoops. This thing is fantastic. My God, this is beautiful. I think this will stack up as one of my favorites from the entire line as far as the, uh, you know, the smaller figures go in the Raptor sort of category of that size. I think this thing is fantastic. It's got incredible detail. I love it has this like really short stubby tail. It's not as long as some of the other dinosaurs and it definitely doesn't curl around like the Raptors do or anything like that. And it has the three claws on the, the hands and as well as the toes. This thing is super detailed. Look at all that detail on the skin. That's amazing. Wow, super great. And also the deep, dark paint job that's on this as well. You know, you got the blacks in there on top of this very dark um, gray, I guess. And I love it. I love it. Everything is painted fantastically on this. Then you got the head up here, which has the, the light pink on the inside of the mouth. So I think a lot of the creatures here have that. Um, on the other side, you actually have a very lighter paint job, which is nice. Um, and then the eye, of course, very different from the rest. And it's very cat-like. And of course, the bone, I guess, on the, the ridge of the nose. That thing's pretty, pretty intense looking. I like it. I like this thing a lot. Let's check out the other side. Is there any differences? Not too much, a little bit different on the paint job and everything, but uh, pretty standard. So I think this thing's fantastic. So let's see what it does. So the legs move, articulation in both the legs. You have articulation here. It doesn't have the articulation outwards like a lot of them do, just up and down. And then you also have the articulation here on the mouth. So that's pretty cool. I, I like the way it looks. You know, I believe this is part of the T-Rex family and it really does look like it here. Uh, a very smaller version, of course, but it definitely looks like it there with the mouth closed. I think it has that uh, Rex-like uh, look to it. So this is a fantastic looking figure. I love this. Let's take a look next to some of the other items. So speaking of the T-Rex, I do have the uh, basically the Lost World T-Rex style one right here. So you can tell though, look at how long the tail is on this compared to this one. So it's definitely a lot shorter there. Also comparing it to the Raptor. I think it uh, definitely resembles this style as well. Um, it's uh, The Raptor is actually a tad bigger of an item. 
yeah, I don't know. They look awesome together. I think they line up nicely head to head there facing off. That's a cool toy to uh, get into battle with. So I like this figure so much. This is fantastic. And I love how the paint job differentiates it from a lot of the other figures who are either lighter paint jobs like this, this Rex or the Stiggy or that green Raptor over there. This thing is one of the darker items, which we don't really have a ton of, I don't think, aside from the Indoraptor back there, but this is one of the darker items. So I would consider this a villain with the rest of my toys. I think that's a that's a good fact to use. So this is awesome. What do you guys think? Do you like the Proceratosaurus, Proceratosaurus, however you want to say it? I think this thing's fantastic. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like this one? Are you going to pick it up? Have you picked it up already? Definitely go get that one as soon as possible. If you want to find out more from us, go to JurassicParkPodcast.com for all of our information. You can find the podcast there and also on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify as well. We're also on Twitter at Jurassic Park Pod, on Instagram at Jurassic Park Podcast and Facebook as well. Here on YouTube, make sure to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell because we want to hear from you guys. We want to make sure that you're watching and commenting and letting us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.